Okay, hello everybody. It's uh, hopefully let a couple of people in. Majors. Okay, so it's twelve thirty, um, and I'm just going to send out an announcement. Um, you know, as as I mentioned before, uh, I was thinking of not having class on election day. You know, we've been encouraged to give uh, to give you space to vote and also to participate. And so I'm not going to have a formal class. I will have an activity to submit probably via Desmos and I'll send out information about that. Um, the quiz and video will be as normal. Okay. Um, so any, any questions about that? Okay. Like I say, I'll send out some emails with more clarifications. We're going to go over handout 16 today, so I want you know want to give you time to uh, to look at that, and I'll I'll introduce that as well. Um, also, on the project, any questions on the project or updates? I I know a couple of people have emailed me saying they've had difficulty contacting their group, and I've given them um, uh, you know the the permission to do it on 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 their own. So if you are having any issues about that, let me know. Um, also, I know a couple of people are sick, and so that's made it more difficult and complicated for people to, uh, to, you know, to communicate. So again, let me know. That's due tomorrow afternoon. And please let me know if there's any questions about that. And so I'll give you a minute or so to, to respond. Okay, and I apologize, the, the videos, they usually take a while to process, and so I just leave them. They've always processed before, but I found out yesterday morning that a couple of the videos had not processed, so I fixed that yesterday afternoon, um, and it's sort of in recognition of that, I extended the quiz deadline, so the, the quiz for today, and I'll, I'll chat that out too, is now due at noon tomorrow make up for that. Okay. And just again, want to remind you of the web assign. Um, so just kind of pause to see where we are. We have three weeks before Thanksgiving after today, and we're on really good track. Um, uh, I, we've covered, you know, everything that we'll cover, everything that you need if you're going to take Math 28, or if you're going to take Math 50, um, or if this is a prereq for another course. So I think we're in really good shape. You've all, you know, I've inquired a lot of like work out of you in terms of web design and projects and things like that. And your attendance has been really good. So I've been pleased so far with how this has gone. So I know it's under difficult circumstances. Um, so give yourself a pat on the back. Okay. okay. Um, before I go, before we go into the groups, you want to download handout 16, as I mentioned. And I just want to talk a little bit about what we're doing now. Uh, I, I've, this will overlap somewhat in the video, but um, I think it's worth mentioning, is we're going to, you know, trigonometry, it's going to involve ratios of sides of triangles. So it involves ratios of sides of triangles. So I want you to today, you know, for today and and on the videos, I want you to understand angles. And that's a little bit more complicated than it sounds because we allow any real number can be an angle. So if you just blurt out a random number, we can think of that as an angle. And so that's one of the points I wanna make sure that people understand um, is that any real number can be an angle. I also want to um, sort of reinforce the fact that, you know, if you've had science classes, 
sort of the, in, in science, you know, the metric system is used. You just have to get used to it. And in math, radians are what's accepted. And so those are also something you just have to get used, used to. And I tried to go over that in the videos. Um, and again, we'll do, we'll do some practice with that today. So your goal is to convert degrees to radians. And a radian is a funny way to measure an angle. Degrees seem natural because we've used that. 360 degrees to a circle. You divide a circle up into 360 parts. That's a 90 degree angle. You know, all that makes, we're so used to that. But um, a radian is a little bit different. What I, for a radian, again, I mentioned this in the video, so I'm repeating. What I'm doing is I'm taking a radius. Sorry, I'm looking for a different colored marker if I have one here, which I don't. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. So what I do, what I do for radians is you, you take a radius, I take that length, I match the string, and I lay it across the circle. So that if this is radius 10, this is, that arc is radius 10. That forms an angle. That angle is defined as one radian. So it's the angle that's covered by one radius. And it seems weird, and it is, no doubt, but it's what's used in math. And so I want to make sure that if you're going on in Math 50 or in, in the sciences, um, that you're going to understand radian measure. Uh, if you go into math, if you're going to the business school and, and business math, they don't use trigonometry, so you're off the hook, but you still need to know it. Um, but if you're going on further to study math, um, physics, engineering, STEM subjects, radians are what's often used. So I really want to make sure you understand that. And, and you will learn, um, you know, one goal is to convert radians to degrees. I think another goal is to understand and understand why that certain angles correspond 45 degrees is pi over four radians. Pi over six is 30 degrees. Pi over three is 60 degrees. Pi over two is 90 degrees. And again, we've gone over those in the videos. We'll go over them some more today. But they're just basic angles that you want to know um, and, and not really have to think about too much. And I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to list one more. Pi is 180 degrees and two pi is 360. Okay, so just for now, um, I just wanna list those. And you just wanna make sure that, you, that you're understanding, like when you see pi over two, most of us think 90 degrees, that's perfectly okay. But you wanna have that sort of recognition be automatic. Okay, okay. Um, so again, that's one of the things that I wanted to, I'm, I'm trying to get, get across today. And so that's one of the big, big, big goals. And then the other goal is when you have a triangle, again, this was in the video, but I think it's worth, it's just so basic, it's worth repeating. That that's our basic triangle. And the triangles we use are gonna by and large, with a few exceptions, have to be right triangles. So this will, this will be 90 degrees or pi over two radians. And there's gonna be three basic ratios and the ratios of sides to triangle. This X side is the one that's closest or adjacent to, to, to theta, so it's called adjacent. The Y, the height is opposite to theta. And then H is just the hypotenuse. So the, the cosine is gonna be the adjacent over the hypotenuse or x over y, x over h. And then we're gonna associate cosine with x. That'll become apparent as we go on. And so this is sometimes cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. And that's gonna be associated with y. And so again, the sine is gonna be the opposite over the hypo hypotenuse. And then finally, the tangent is 
is going to be just be y over x. So that's going to be equal to the opposite over adjacent. And that's sometimes T O A. And so I mentioned this in the video. Um, sometimes SOCATOA is used as a way to remember these things. And some people, people have always found that, some people have always found that helpful. Uh, and I kind of, you know, lamely joke that that would be the name if I had a math camp, that would be the name of a summer camp. Um, so anyway, so those are the basics. And so out of today, what I hope you come across with is more comfort with radians and degrees, how to convert back and forth. And I'm going to say one more thing about that. Uh, also, this these notion of these three basic ratios, we're going to expand trigonometry way beyond this. But if you understand this part of it, I think you're 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 really ahead of the game, and everything else will fall into place. Um, so, but I want this. I think this basic triangle trigonometry is important, and this is in 4.3, and I think it makes sense to introduce this at the beginning when you study trigonometry rather than after you sort of define what it is in a more complicated way. So that's why I'm starting here in 4.3 and not in 4.2 with trigonometry. Okay. So one more thing, um, and this is converting degrees. Oh, two more things actually. So, but converting degrees to radians and back and forth. I think of when you have an angle, and this is something that I mentioned in the video. I'm just drawing this random angle. Now, theta over the entire circle is going to be, it's fixed. It's just, it's, it's some fraction, it's some ratio. For example, if theta were 60 degrees, the entire circle is 360. So that would be 60 over 360 equals 1 sixth of the circle. Now we're going to see that theta in radians is going to be pi over 3. Now the entire circle in radians is 2 pi. So what I'm saying is that if I measure this in radians, it's going to be also have to be 1 sixth of the circle. So just to show you that, we got pi over 3 over 2 pi. That's theta in radians over the entire circle in radians. And again, when you do the math, that's going to be you invert and multiply, you're going to get pi over three times um, one over two pi. Pi's cancel and you get one six. So that ratio is the same no matter which way we measure the angle. Just like if we measure your height in meters, you have the same absolute height, whether it's meters or feet, you're going to reach the same distance from the floor but the number you give to it's gonna be different. It's the same for radians. And so what I use to convert, that's the key idea. And so I use this ratio, theta degrees over 360 is equal to theta in radians over two pi. And so if I wanna convert, I just say, let's say I wanna convert 60 degrees to radians. I plug in the 60, so I get 60 degrees over 360 is equal to pi, uh, theta radians over two pi. I just solve for that. I multiply both sides by two pi. That cancels. This two in the cancels with 180. So I get pi times 60 degrees over 180. And that's gonna equal pi over three. And that's what theta is in radians. So again, the key to conversion is that no matter how you describe the angle, it takes up the same fraction of the circle. And so if you keep that in mind, this formula is something that you don't have to remember, but you, you can sort of just figure it out. And then once you get this ratio, you can use it to convert from one to the other. I hope that makes sense. And again, some of today's work will be practice on these ideas. So that's my, inter that's my sort of overview. Um, Today's work is just going to be practice problems. And, um, and so there's no like overarching big theme that I need to bring everybody back for. So when you're done, you'll be free to go. But check in with me before you go, um, just to see how you are. And so we'll do the same routine as usual. You know, there'll be group work. Uh, I'll come, Sam and I will come around and visit. 
Um, and so I'll form the groups and let you get to it. And as I start forming the groups, please let me know if you have any um, questions. I want to see how many people we have today. Okay, we're going to go with seven groups today. That means there'll be five in some of them, but that's okay. No, we'll go with eight. That gives more. I think that's better because they're smaller. You can you can do better. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm gonna I am going to uh, form the rooms and I'm gonna open them up. If there's any questions, let me know. You can send out a chat or just speak up. I'll okay. And I'll see you in your in the groups. Hey Mitch, I noticed that you're in the main room. Are you having a, are you having trouble hard, uh, joining the group? Or oh, there you go. Thanks. Okay, just checking in, doing my initial walkthrough. Um, and wondering if there's any initial questions. Oh. For letter B on one, do you just want us to like draw draw a right angle for each of those? Okay. Um, so and A. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of try to think of it as a triangle, and it takes it's a little bit out of the box because you know your triangle might your initial angle is going to be bigger than ninety degrees, so you have to figure out how to fit the triangle. And there's different ways to do that. Okay. 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 That's all yep. I have for now. Yep. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? Any quite overall questions about radians or the stuff we're talking about? No, I'm, I'm good. good. Now. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. I'm just making sure everybody can share in their pot in their uh, screen share. But any initial questions about the material? No, I just started on the. I just downloaded it. I'm just on the first one, and it's okay. Just, yeah, I think we're just getting stuff from the okay. videos so but, far. But questions about radians or angles or anything like that, or you think you're you're good? You're ready to get started? Okay. I think we're good. I think I'm good. Okay. Good. Okay. Let me know if it's other if you if you run into any problems. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Hello, I'm just checking in, doing my initial check-in. Um, make sure everybody can share with each other, which you can, and seeing if there's any any sort of questions about the videos. This is new material, and I know some of you may not have seen the stuff before. So just kind of if there's any initial questions overall. Um, I don't think I have any so far. Okay, good. I'm, I'm kind of slow working through it, but I don't think That's I right. really have any right now. That's all right. No, no worry. No worries about that. Okay. Yeah. I, I think it's okay. I'm still drawing the angles, so I haven't really hit any of the... Okay. Any of the... Arithmetic stuff, Ken. Okay, good. And Javarian, how about you? I'm about to pull up the assignment right now. Okay, but you're good with some of the yeah. stuff in the video and everything? Yeah. So far? Okay, good. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. Just let me know. I'll, I'll be through again in a while. Okay. Okay, bye bye. Okay. Hello, I'm just on my initial walkthrough. Um, making sure that you can share the screen with each other. 
and also to see if there's any questions about the material, not necessarily the handout, but it's a new unit. Just any questions about radians or angles or anything like that? Uh, I don't know about those two, but I'm good for now. I don't have any questions yet, at least. Okay. Yeah, yeah same. I'm fine. Okay, you're, it sounds like you're in the same boat. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Okay, so I'll, I'll check in later. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.